Here's how to get a fast auto clicker on your iPhone. Now, if you want your iPhone to automatically click in one specific spot over and over or all around your screen, you can always create a custom gesture with a ton of really fast auto clicks so that your fingers don't have to constantly do it over and over. And the best part about it is you don't have to download any third party apps. It's all built into your iPhone itself. So to do it, let's hop into the settings and we'll scroll down and tap on accessibility here. Now we'll tap on switch control midway down and we'll set two different things. One is switches here, it says zero, so I'll tap on that and hit add new switch. Now we will choose screen and then full screen and you can see tap, so we want it to tap. Now we've set that and we're gonna go back and set a recipe. So I'll tap on recipes hit create new recipe. I'm gonna name it auto clicker and we're gonna assign a switch. So tap on that full screen and then here is where we'll choose a custom gesture and this is where you can customize exactly where you want it to auto tap. So hit custom gesture and say if I wanted to tap one specific place and then maybe another specific place over and over and over, I can just do that over and over and over and when you're ready, you've tapped as many times as you want to, you can hit save at the top right. Now on here, you can see it says custom uh, switches, full screen, we don't want it to time out, that all looks good. And let's tap on, yeah, that all looks good. Let's go back. And then at the bottom, it says launch recipe, let's tap on that and hit auto clicker. So now you have basically created this recipe. You said you wanted to launch that auto clicker as the recipe. Now let's go back and make it work. So going back again, I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom and get to accessibility shortcut here and tap on that. And then you can see switch control at the bottom. So now it's really easy. All I have to do is triple click here and then I can tap and it will auto click all of these different buttons exactly where I set it to. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.